So just curious, in watching the film back from, from game one, I guess what stuck out to you the most, both good and bad? Um, the bad things, I think, is the turnovers in the first half. Um, it allowed them to get back in the game. We had 11 turnovers at halftime, and they scored 15 points off our turnovers. Um, the good thing, I just thought our pace was great. I thought we shared the basketball um, really well. Uh, a lot of driving kicks, you know, swing, swing actions and um, getting open shots. But also, you know, 83 of our 93 points were in the paint or three-point shots. And um, that's what we've been talking about and preaching in, in training camp of getting those shots, getting into the paint, getting layups or getting threes. And we really did a good job of that in our first game. Thank you. Thanks. We'll move over to BT. BT, you can go ahead. Happy holidays, Ty Lou. Happy holidays. Thank you. Well, we all know the NBA is always good at making it tricky matchups. In this case, you guys in Denver after playing in the playoffs. What significance does this game have to you guys after meeting them and losing them in the playoffs? Well, I wouldn't say the significance from, from last year. Just the significance is us getting better at each game. And um, that's our main focus. You know, we want to just continue to keep getting better, um, continue to work on our good habits, you know, on, on our defensive habits and offensive habits, and, you know, continue to keep growing as a team. And I think that's the most important thing. Oh, you can go ahead. Happy holidays, Ty. Uh, Happy just holidays. I just wanted to ask you if uh, what Marcus' status is for tomorrow and if anybody else might not be available. Um, Marcus won't be available tomorrow, no. But everybody else will. And um, when facing Nikola Jokic last year in the playoffs and then seeing what he did last night, um, what did, you, did you guys gather anything of how to maybe defend him from you know, going through a playoff series against him? <laughs> well, he's a great player, you know, and it's – I think with any great player, you got to give them different looks. I think um, you can't give them a steady diet of the same thing because they'll pick you apart. And with his passing ability, um, he definitely would do that. So we just got to mix it up on him. Um, can't give him the same look all night and just, you know, just try to keep him guessing. Thanks, Pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll move over to Miriam. Hey, Ty. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. Um, question about Marcus. Um, Pat tweeted that, that Marcus has been pretty involved or, you know, he, 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 was, he was getting everybody fired up on uh, Tuesday. Um, and obviously you got to be in the building to see his brother get his ring, so it's probably special to him. But what's, what's he been like the last few days as the season gets going, considering he's, he's not actually on the court? He's been great. I mean, just talking to our young guys, um, keeping those guys engaged, you know, understanding what we're doing on the floor and, you know, joining into practice and stuff like that. So he's been amazing, you know, and then just seeing what he did the other night, you know, during the game, he was up off the bench the whole night cheering and, you know, um, keeping guys motivated, keeping guys going, staying positive. And um, he really he really set the tone for our emotional leader in our first game versus the Lakers. Versus the Lakers. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Move over to Farbad. Hey, Ty. Uh, one of the things Kawhi kept emphasizing at the end of opening night was how everybody stayed positive despite, you know, the lead shrinking. What, what did you see from the team where they specifically stayed so positive and kept playing the right way? It didn't panic. You know, I didn't see guys at the time I was, you know, arguing or, you know, getting worried about what was going on. I think, you know, I owe it a lot to the coaching staff. I think all of our coaches, you know, the coaching staff were very poised. Um, you know, we didn't get rattled, you know, and just seeing Kenny and, you know, Dan Craig and Chauncey and Larry Drew and, you know, Roy Rogers, O'Connor, Jeremy, we just, you know, everybody just stayed poised. And I think our players saw that. And I think when you're being frantic and, you know, you, you're up and down, going, you know, they, they kind of see that. So I think it was very important for us to keep our cool. And then the players did the same thing as well. And then at halftime, we just talked about just taking care of the basketball, not turning the basketball over, and we would come out with a win. In the second half, we only had five turnovers, and we did a good job of taking care of the basketball, so we was able to win that game. We've got time for a couple more. We'll go over to Cam. Hey, Coach. Um, you kind of spoke about the, the coaching staff staying cool. Did you notice a tangible difference with the players uh, there in the third quarter that kind of helped them Keep their keep their head on straight and then finish that game out strong. I think it was just um, they understood that you know what we were doing to ourselves. I think turning the basketball over, you definitely can't do that in the league, but definitely not against the Lakers with LeBron and the way they push the tempo and get downhill in transition. So 
we know against this team coming to the game, our main focus was taking care of the basketball and offensive rebounding. And um, having 11 turnovers in the first first half, 15 points, that's how they were able to get back in the game. So in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, we took care of the basketball and I was able to, like I said, able to win that game. And we'll take one last one from Justin Russo. Hey, Coach. Good afternoon and happy holidays. Well, happy holidays. Thank you. Uh, Nick Batum's stat line from Tuesday doesn't like fully jump off the page, but there's obviously the game within the game factor, and he seemed to make a pretty sizable impact on the defensive end and bringing the ball up the floor. How impressed were you with what he showed on both ends? I'm very impressed. You know, he just knows how to play the game. You know, very smart, very cerebral. Um, understanding what's going on um, on the floor. And he's one of our best passers. So we can play him at the elbows. We can put him in pick and rolls. Um, and then with his length and size of being 6'9", we can switch, you know, one through four. And so um, he's a very, you know, big piece that we've been able to pick up um, this offseason. Thanks, Coach. That's all we got for you today. Yes, sir.